What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, listen, I'm going to tell you guys something that I'm really not even supposed to tell you because this is like a well-known secret, but that's kept. It's like the best kept secret inside the bodybuilding community. Now, I'm friends with a professional bodybuilder, so he let me in on his secret. And I'm kind of like, I'm going to be ostracized by the whole bodybuilding community by putting this video out there. Now, what I'm going to tell you is everyone thinks these guys are getting jacked by shooting super high levels of testosterone. But the truth is, these guys, the majority of their gains are coming from vitamin D supplementation. What they do is they get super high grade vitamin D. They chop this stuff up and they put it into a liquid form and they actually inject it through syringes into their butts. And I'm telling you, you don't even, you won't even have to lift weights. If you're injecting enough vitamin D3, you're going to get jacked like freaking Phil Heath. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. I'm playing around. All right, let me get serious though. Let's get to the point of this video. This video is about vitamin D, vitamin D3 to be specific. Who should take it? Why we should take it? What are the benefits and how much we should take? All right, who should take it? Well, in the winter, first of all, where do we get it from? Mostly we get vitamin D through sunlight, through exposure to sunlight. Now, if you live somewhere where it gets real dark in the wintertime and you're not being exposed to the sunlight, like me, I live in the northeast of America. In the daytime, it's freezing. I don't even want to be outside. I'm just in and out my car. I'm in the house and or inside wherever I'm at as much as I can. I don't want to be outside. It's freezing. And it, it, it gets dark at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I'm not getting much sunlight. I get like white as a ghost in the, in the, um, excuse me, in the wintertime. So that's why... I, I need a supplement with vitamin D because it comes through exposure to the sunlight and I'm not out in the sun enough in the wintertime. Now, what does um, vitamin D do for us? A bunch of things, a whole um, list of things, but I'm going to stick to things that are specific for people, for guys who are training and, you know, the benefits it can have for us. Number one, help support a healthy immune system. Now, I just first of all, overall, you don't want to get sick. Who wants to get sick, right? On top of that, getting sick is going to set you back in the gym. You're going to have to stay out the gym. And if you do go to the gym, you're going to get uh, half the workouts you should get. And you're going to re your recuperating is going to be twice as slow to recuperate from half the workout. So, of course, I think it goes without saying we don't want to get sick. And vitamin D can help with that. Number two, it helps with overall mood. Now, in the wintertime, this is a problem for a lot of people, including myself. Something um, they call like wintertime blues and cabin fever. Just being stuck in the house so much, people get down. Well, vitamin D supplementation can help you with your overall mood. And having a good mood can help you when you get into the gym to get a good workout. Um, number three, I think is the biggest one um, for this, for pertaining to us, is that being deficient in vitamin D could cause low levels of testosterone. Now, with supplementing with vitamin D, is it more the merrier? Is it um, the more you get, the better? Will supplementing with vitamin D give you super physiological levels of testosterone that are going to have you jacked? No, but it's going to keep you from having low testosterone if you're deficient in vitamin D. So if you're not getting enough sunlight because, of, you know, you're not out in the sun because it's freezing out and it's getting dark so early, you might be getting deficient in vitamin D. So supplementing with vitamin D could make sure that you're not going to have low testosterone that keep you at normal levels um so how much should we take well there's a lot of different recommended dosages out there some people recommend up to 5,000 but there's also some recommendations that say you shouldn't go over 4,000 so that's why I would stick to around 4,000 me myself I take 3,000 I use a day um which supplement do I recommend well myself I take nature made I think that's the name of it that's just something you could get right at your grocery store. I take that for two reasons. One, they have it in um, little gummies. I hate taking pills. So I prefer the gummies. There's only, I think, like 10 calories a serving or something like that. And two, um, that um, brand is certified by a third party. So I think that's important because the supplement company is like the Wild West. I mean, there's so many reports of them putting stuff that doesn't belong in supplements in there and that them finding um, dangerous um, amounts of metals or aluminum and stuff like that inside of supplements. There's a lot of people that, that there's a lot of tests that show that sometimes supplements could be more detrimental for our health than the health benefits that we're supposed to be getting from them. So yeah, that's what I take. That's why I take it. And I just want to let you guys know, because I mean, that's just, this is something that's just good for overall health. And it's something that could help us avoid low testosterone. And I think that's something that anybody who's training will be concerned with. 
All right, guys. Well, listen, stay tuned for future videos. I got a lot of videos I'm working on right now. Check out the past videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, until next time.